reflection about cancer. Cancer seeds in various places. Just as a person attacks a weaker person or a gullible person, he cannot cheat an intellectual person or he cannot fight with a robustic person. Immediately, he seeks for a person where the weakness or where the gullibility of the person can be taken shelter. Likewise, cancer, it takes some parts inside our body which are soft in nature, which has uh, some sort of uh, possibility for expansion of the blood cell vessels so that it can be well seated, well nourished and developed. So it sees some particular places. There are main places where frequently the rate of being cancerous is more. There is one sutta known as Akshibhyamte Nasikabhyam in Rigveda as well as in Atharvaveda. There must be an institute for the health, the holistic health in which Vedic healing must be at least experimented. You take two or three persons, we are not going to get any money for that. This Akshibhyamte Nasikabhyam is very much essential in each and every Ange Ange Lome Lome Yastu Parvani Parvani in each and every cell joint and each and every hair root and each and every tissue of your body I uproot the melodial measure that has taken seat in your body this is the meaning of that mantra to take that recitation it will take a lot of time explanations will be limited then so next time just I want to chant only one class for mantras and properly they must follow those mantras and they can practice daily as well as do it for the welfare of the others. So, these melodial elements, they are treated in various places. The major area is lung for males and breast for the females. So, it is, first it starts with bladder, then it roots in also our pancreas, it is also there in our lungs, breast, ovary, then leukemia which is there in the permeated blood flow. So these are the various areas of <coughs> cancer. <coughs> Apart from which, why I am saying this, these areas are very much prone to cancer. <coughs> Just as we are very much concerned with accident prone areas, whenever we are moving in highways, wherever there is a hairpin bend, wherever there is low visibility, low ground level, etc., we take more caution. Likewise, every day, by doing mantras of Sudarshana, Dushtam dharaya dharaya, Duritam hana hana papam dakadha rogam martaya martaya. All of these mantras are there. Daily you can practice any mantra of your choice. At least you can touch these sensitive portions which are very much prone to the cancer. Today, just even though I cannot eradicate cancer in the society, in which God is also engaged in the same process through lot of executives and still he is moving on. So at least I can just wish and bless that the persons available here must not have any prospective infusion of cancer and also their associates and dependents. That is my will. So for that, at least for these portions which are very much sensitive and prone to that cancer, we must touch and we must chant those mantras. And uh, you know that each and every disease, it has its own symptoms. There are two types of studies. One is multi melodial study and multi-symptomic study. A single disease, it may have different types of symptoms for the same disease. Different diseases, they may have the same symptom. Most of the cancer symptoms are very normal symptoms. One is swelling, second is pain, third is bleeding, fourth is ulceration, fifth is loss of weight, sixth is loss of appetite and fatigue, <laughs> then anemia, all of these things, sweat, especially nocturnal sweating, night sweating. All of these things are the effective symptoms of cancer. So whenever these symptoms occur, it will create, there are a lot of people who due to lack of uh, proper care, they have made cancer to grow. That is uh, the flaw of negligence. And if you say these symptoms to people, there will rise one more fallacy or flaw of creating more phobia. Because these symptoms are very normal with 80% of the people. And after coming to know about these symptoms, their nocturnal sweating and fatigue will grow more. It will be intensified. And whenever they are getting into such things, symptoms, as it has been already told, they will be afraid of a prospective cancer or an available cancer. So proper way of guidelines is, these are all some symptoms of that type of cancer which has just now entered the inceptive or the incubation level. It does not mean that they are in danger. So whenever a person is having a particular symptom like this, there are two possibilities. It may be an innocuous symptom of your general body weakness, number one. It may be of a benign tumor which may not be permeating your body resulting in fatal death but it may cause some pain or some problem here. Third thing, it may be also a malignant tumor. The possibility is just 5%. But 5% among 100 cores you can just imagine. Because 2007, 
the whole cancer report. It has said 7.6 million people died in cancer 2007. <clears throat> so the percentage may be less, but certainly a lot of people are affected by different types of cancers, like uh, political cancer of mal malpractice and misadministration, <laughs> then uh, terrorism, international clashes, then border disputes, various things we discussed here also. Amidst which, uh, this type of cancer also rules the society. What is the reason for this cancer? There are three major reasons. We have to understand these reasons, then only we can understand the Vedic practices. Number one, it is due to the casino genes. These casino genes are created from substances like alcohol and tobacco, etc. They exist more in such substances. This is the first reason. And second is error in DNA replication. And third thing is heredity. You must have inherited from your ancestors, just you have taken their properties. It is an inherited property in the form of a disease. So these three things are the major things. Then there is a special study which is known as, uh, it is the pathobiology. It is known as the pathobiology of cancer or the clinical pathology of cancer or it may be called as a cancer pathobiology or a cancer pathology. So it states that there are some other reasons. Four major reasons have been given. We must very much clearly understand these things. Tobacco and other things, whatever we are depicting in the advertisements or in the health declarations, those things are having only a limited domain. Major things are controlled by unseen factors. Number one, it starts with uh, the demethylation of our DNA and due to microRNA. Then there are two genes inside our body. One is known as oncogene. Second is known as tumor suppressing genes. Our oncogenes, they must be deactivated. Simultaneously, they exist like devasuras. These oncogenes, they must be deactivated. And this uh, suppressing gene of the tumor, they must be activated. Due to some biological error or some inheritance or any other mutation or specific variation in the DNA pre-programmed structure due to unavoidable and unknown regions, we can clearly consider that there will be a cancerous growth. So it started with the activation of oncogenes and deactivation of the second genes which are just mentioned, just created for suppressing the tumors. If they are deactivated, then this thing will be boosted. So it creates eight major variations inside your body. It is very important to know about these variations. Number one, each and every body, certainly it has a limited growth. If there is hyperactive growth and division, that is a symptom, that is a product of this malignant arrangement. Number one is hyperactive growth. Second thing, sir, is a processive cell death. Immediately it must die and must be regenerated. That the processive cell death is also affected by this type of collaborations. <clears throat> and the third thing is, we are having our own way of understanding tissue borders. Just as we respect borders and we pay taxes and get inside and we maintain our limitations and demarcations, there are cell boundaries and tissue boundaries. Whenever a cell becomes cancer and becomes invasive and pervasive, it won't mind the borders. It can cross boundaries and reach any area for affecting. So that sense of understanding and limiting one's own self within the boundaries is lost. That is the third thing. The fourth thing is, there is a process of not responding to varying or contrary atmospheres. If the environment is in diversified portion or status, the natural healthy cells, they won't respond. They will immediately, they will be against that. The immunity inside the cells, Immediately, if something is against our body health, immediately they will act against it. But this cancerous cell or the so-called malignancy that will prevent the reaction against these abnormal environments. The fifth thing is cell cycle. There is a cell cycle of growth, mitosis, meiosis, must have read. The cell cycle of productivity is disturbed by these things. And moreover, there is a process of DNA replication. That DNA replication is totally arrested in these cancerous cells. Moreover, there are two relations within the body tissues. One is being adhesive to its own tissues and also interaction with protective cells. These cancerous cells become totally a different type of alien that it does not respond or are being adhesive to its own group of tissues. For example, if it is a throat cancer, it will not uh, communicate with any cell of your throat, any tissue of your throat function. <laughs> It will not also collaborate or cooperate with the other protective tissues of your body. So these eight things are the major variations which are created inside the body. And if you have to...